Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a WordPress website designer and today I'm going to show you how to set up and optimize your Google My Business profile to attract local customers. So whether you're a calf, a plumber, a boutique, a fitness, outdoor fitness company, Google My Business is a game changer for local SEO. Your Google My Business profile helps you to rank in Google's local pack and maps results and it makes it easier for nearby customers to find you plus it's completely free. So I'm gonna go through a step-by-step -step of how to set up and optimize your Google My Business account. So let's go and dive in. So in Google, just type in Google My Business. The first thing that is gonna come up is your Google My Business profile, get listed on Google, click on this, and it will take you through to the page where you can get started. So click on manage now. It's going to take you through to getting started with your business name. So if your business name doesn't actually include the keywords of the business that you are and what you do, then you need to add them in here. So maybe for instance, your business is something like Pulse, but Pulse isn't actually describing what your business is. So we need to make it really clear to people. So maybe your name is Pulse, but also you are a Pilates studio or if you've got a, like a certain service that you offer then just make sure to include these keywords in there so we can add that then you can click continue and then you need to decide if you're a service business a local store online retail so I'm going to put online store and then click next if your business category doesn't come up you offer a service-based business you can always put consultant so for this purpose, I'm going to put Pilates Studio and that will come up and then you can just hit next. Then enter in your business address. Then you can put in your phone number and also add your website. Then you can click continue. This will give you different ways of getting verified. So it might just ask you to create a video of your business. And if you click on this, it will give you information of exactly what it expects from you. And um, for this one, it's just gonna send me a code to my phone number. And um, you can also click more options and you can verify it later, but it will not be visible until you have verified it. So no one's gonna see it on the map until you've actually put in the verification. So the next thing to do is to make sure that you put the correct office hours. So you can put your office hours in here. And once you're done with your office hours, just click next. So add a business description. You want to add a lot of keywords into this. So the services that you provide, you can always go on to chat GPT and put in a brief business description. So you can use this prompt, write a business description for my Google My Business using keywords. And then this is where you're gonna put in your additional keywords. So things like your services, what you offer. So I've put the name of the business and I've just put, we offer Reforma Pilates Dynamics. So these are all the services. And then I've put in the location and surrounding areas and you can just hit this and it's going to give you a business description so you can have a look at this see if you're happy with it and then just copy it over and paste it in your business description so here is where you can add photos of your business and one thing that i would say is really good to do is to geotag your photos so i like to use this website here i will tag it below in the comments but this basically makes it easy to geotag your photos and it's a really simple tool so you can click start now and then you can drag and drop your image in and then you can actually tag the location of your image before you upload it. Once you've added your photos, just click next. You can claim your 400 advertising credit if you want to um, by clicking this button and going through the steps. I'm just going to skip this for now. And you can also set up a Google Workspace so you can get your domain and your email address as well from Google Workspace. Then just hit continue and here is where we can optimize some more things in your account. So once you have your Google My Business account verified, then the first thing that I would say to do is to get more reviews. So if you click this button here, it will come up and it will give you a URL, which you can copy and you can send to all past clients. Google My Business reviews are really gonna help you to boost you on Google Maps. So this is super important to get started. Next thing to do is to add any products that you have. So if you click on products, you can click add product and you'll be able to put in images. You can also geotag the image and you can add in your product name and a good description with any keywords for this particular product. 
The next thing to do is to head over to your services. So you can edit services and you can add your services in. So if you click on edit, I've already put mine in here, but you can add in any additional services. So I've put my primary category as a website designer, but my keywords are in my Google My Business name as well as SEO and Dubsado certified specialist. So then you can add in any custom services. So you can type them in and you can put in your own keywords. You can optimize this for all of your specific keywords. So another way of optimizing your Google My Business profile is to use the Q&A. So what I would do for this is I would actually find the questions that people are asking by typing in my service into Google. So say for instance, if I type in here, website designer, then you can scroll down to people also ask and you can answer these specific questions within your Google My Business profile. So we can put in how much does it cost for a website design and then go over to your Google My Business account. Head over to Q&A, then add a question, add this in, then post. Then if you go to ask another, it will allow you to answer this question. So you can click on answer and you can type in the answer to this question, adding additional keywords. So this is really handy for optimizing your Google My Business profile. Another thing to do is to consistently add updates to your Google My Business profile. So if you are blogging every single week, every single time that you create a blog, you can create at least four or five updates from that one blog post. So if you click add update, then you'll be able to click on add update. And here is where you can put a geotagged image. Then you can also add a description. Again, a really quick way of doing this is to add all of your blog content into ChatGPT and then just ask it to create a Google My Business description or create at least five different descriptions from this. And you can have some that link back to your blog post and you can have others that link to the services that those blog posts are around. And that's a good way of optimizing your profile. And that's it. You've set up and optimized your Google My Business profile to attract more local customers. With a little bit more effort, you'll see a big difference in how your business performs online. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and comment below with your business type. I'd love to share more tips tailored to your needs.